Hi, I'm Representative J.T. Wilcox, and I'm proud to represent the people in the small towns in the 2nd District, rural Pierce County and rural Thurston County. We're in the last week of this session, and I think for a change, we're actually going to get it done this time. As we wind things down, it's becoming pretty plain that what we're going to end up with is a small supplemental budget. There were a lot of ideas about increased taxes or tax exemptions. I think most of those are going to go away and we're going to have something that is really close to status quo. But at this time there are a few bad ideas still alive. One of them that I've been working on is the vapor tax. One thing that you learn when you serve down here is that Almost everybody has a project that they want to fund, and the only way that they can do that is by finding someone new to tax. And in this case, they chose the vaping tax. And uh, vaping is an alternative to smoking, and many people have kicked the habit of smoking by vaping instead. But what happens here is if someone has an appetite for a new project, they look for a small, underrepresented group to tax. And it's incredibly unfair. These tend to be groups that are not organized, not powerful, and often they don't have a lobbyist, and they seem like an easy target. I'm really happy to be part of the effort to push back on the vaping tax. These people are very enthusiastic, they're doing a good thing, and they figured out quickly how to be organized and push back, but not everybody knows how to do that. And honestly, part of my job is to make sure that those that don't have a voice get represented properly. Thank you for watching my weekly video updates. Please feel free to call my office using the number on the screen or email me.